Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toast Ken, that's Buff Pro, and yes, I did get a haircut, and yes, I also rolled straight out of bed and started recording this video and didn't really fix it to make it try to look nice or anything, which I, <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I should probably do that, and then I was like, well, you know, old habits, they Next die hard. Time. So you're probably asking yourself, Ken, why, why'd you get your haircut? You swore them off, you're never going to get a haircut ever. Never, never, ever, ever going to. Well, I noticed my hairline... <laughs> It seems to be like running away from my eyebrows in the last couple oh, of years. No. And I was just like, like the front of it just looked like nappy. And I was like, ah, now I hate it. I actually, I liked having the long hair. I actually thought it, it looked good when it looked good, but it's just the front of it was really getting on my nerves. And even Mary was hitting me with like the, yeah, you know, she, it went from having like oh, a mullet no. and being funny to like being like, kind of like, hey, you, you can do better. And I was like, oh no, fine. She, she didn't throw in any five head comments, did she? No, no, no. It just, it, <sighs> If she, if she doesn't say it looks good, then I'm worried because it's all it's always like oh, I like it, I like it a lot. But if she's like, eh, then <laughs> it's bad. And I'm like, all right, haircut, psh, done. Yeah. Also, I'm getting like a hair hair transplant surgery, maybe bring it back down. You know, that I can grow my hair out long. Okay. Yeah, maybe. All right. Yeah, maybe make a video about that if I ever decide to do it. But anyway, we're watching Gordon Ramsay today. This is honest waiter warns Ramsay of the terrible food. Actually, before we do, check out this. Playing Jenga. I got this. All right. God. You. What? Easy. Get out of here. Bam. That's some gameplay from the Toasty Games channel. So if you want to see some of that, go down in the description, click on that link, and also check out Dane on Buff Pro and on the YouTubes. Hey, you. And you are Brad. Brad, good to see you. How long have you been here? From the beginning. From the beginning. Is this the owner? Yeah, it must be right now. I thought these were like it other people be. just watching, but they're like, "What is he doing?" But this, this is this is the OG right here. This is the man. He even like you know kneeling down so that Gordon Ramsay had to look up at him. You know, he's like kneeling before the king. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this <laughs> like a? Oh, they got the sauce and the chips. Is this is this a Mexican okay. restaurant owned by owned by these people? Oh yeah. <laughs> One hundred percent Mexican. One hundred percent. Don't judge a book by its cover, because you walk in here and you see this gorgeous place. But Mamaritas doesn't live up to its expectations. Mamaritas. Mamaritas. Oh man, I feel like we've been here before. That's a great name, Mamaritas. <laughs> <laughs> well, old Lost Margaritas. I remember that going to that place all the time. Uh, you know, back home. Oh, every Monday, mm -hmm. every Monday. <laughs> yeah. And everyone, uh, like the guy, the servers always come up to you and they start speaking Spanish every time I'm with you, and you just be like. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. They always thought I was, uh, what's his name? I I Ray. 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 Raymundo? You, Raymundo. I'm like, no, no. I'm not Raymundo. <laughs> not I don't, Raymundo, yeah. I don't even know who that is. Uh, I remember you telling me about that too. Like they'd always come up to you and like start talking to you like you're like a guy's name, Raymundo. And then I, yeah. I, I, I got to witness it a couple of times too. And I was like, man. You think that, I feel like I would remember that that's not Raymundo. That's the guy that looks like him, but no, they never did. Stuff to stay away from. Malotes, taquitos, empanadas. Just because I just think they're really dry. <laughs> that's, he's like, mmm, that's exactly what I want to order then. I wonder if there's many people complaining in the comment section. Why do you guys keep stopping the video? We have to. All right, the people who own Kitchen Nightmares are very aggressive. This is not a transformative video. They will claim the crap out of it, so I gotta keep stopping it. But just still, like, right. if, if your waiter's telling you not to get something, oh yeah, you don't get that. Don't get it. You do not get it. <laughs> mm -mm. Do not test that man's gangster. He knows what he's talking about. Like, there's a restaurant. I'm not even gonna say the name of it, but uh, the people that we knew that worked there said the kitchen is filthy. Yeah. Even though the food was delicious, and I never went back. They're like, mm, don't. Mm. Don't do it. <laughs> My life, I work here, but man, bro, I'm like, okay, don't say no, say no more. I will not. I will not. Denzo. Yeah. Within five minutes, been in the restaurant and then told what to stay away from from the head waiter. Ay, ay, ay. What's he got in his ear? Got an earpiece in there? Yeah, they're in there like, hey, Gordon, all right. Gordon, order this. Oh, get this. Go over and talk to this guy. Check this out. I mean, yeah, that's, that's you know, makes it. Television is. I just thought he had something stuck in there, like a Q-tip broke off or something at first. It's like, oh yeah, <laughs> my manager. And you manage the kitchen and the front of the house. Um, front of the house. Oh. And catering. And I do catering as well. What's wrong with the place? Lack of customers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the cut in the music. What's the, I mean, the place is packed right now, but that's because he's there, right? Right. Everybody wants to see Gordon. Yeah. Oh, Gordon's here. Shoo, let's go. It's all the like all these old ladies everywhere. Yep. Dude, it, it literally is. It's just like a bunch of old white ladies everywhere. I like the curly white lady yeah. here, there, there. 
And some young college students just trying to get some paychecks, you know? So why have we got lacking in customers? We need more customers. We need to figure out how to get more people. <laughs> okay, thank you. And you're the manager. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's even confused. Like, what? what's wrong here? He's like, ah. Yeah, that's me. Hey. What's the problem? We need more customers. Right. So how do you fix that? I don't know. We just need more customers. Okay. All right. You're in charge of people. I manager that didn't know what's wrong with the restaurant. It's scary. <laughs> She's so she's so confused. Look forward to catching up. Not with the manager. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Look, <he> just, <laughs> that's why everybody loves Gordon because he's just like he's like I don't care. <laughs> Incompetence. Screw you. What are you gonna do? Got <laughs> tamale. Got it. The chimichanga. Yeah. Let's go for a burrito. I think that's enough for now. Alrighty. Thank you. Did anybody taste anything? Run to the kitchen. He's ordered. He's ordered. Gordon's ordered. Get to the kitchen. Get Thank to the kitchen. You, Perla. Everything was good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. All right. We got some Mexicans finally <laughs> in the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, here we go. They're, they're just, they just they they do the cooking. White lady, the Karen zone, everything. Gotcha. If Chef Ramsay doesn't like my grandmother's recipes, oh, it's her grandmother. Okay, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> I was assuming. Tamale, <laughs> <laughs> extremely hot. All right, tamale. Wow. All right, Dane, you made tamales. Oh God. How do you feel about that tamale right there? Ah, uh, get me out already. What <laughs> is that? I get, oh, dude, I guarantee this thing's gonna be dry. I, I don't even know what they dipped it in. I just, I gotta go. <laughs> Jesus, it's like soaking wet newspaper. <laughs> he had to like, be like said something here and they heard him like, what? Soaking wet newspaper. Soaking wet newspaper, we got some. What is that, olives? I don't know, like two olives or two big old beans? I don't know, Jeez. just two though. Yeah, two. just two. Some cubed up chicken and some, I don't know, the salt, the, it's like the paste. That's pasty. That is so dry. Ah, there you go. Yep, yep. You were right, Dane. It's like, even though it's like wet newspaper, the inside still dry. Mm. Cut that chicken up. Overcooked chicken. We make them in big batches and then they're steamed and then they're served because we make such large volumes at a time. So you're sounding like the catering company now. Yes. I always love the, these are fresh. Yeah, we make a whole crap load of them and then freeze them and steam them. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we got all these customers we have. We have so many customers. We have to mass produce these. How long does it take to like slap a tamale together? I would say slap it together. But there's like a lot of... Um, If you're hand rolling the the masa in the corn husk, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you're soaking the corn husk yourself and, and all of that, like it's, uh, it, it's tedious enough to where you don't want to just... Do it for, you know, three to five. Yeah. And then, you know, be done. It's uh, usually do big batches just because it's like, all right, got to get this out of the way. What an embarrassment. And this is your chef that ran a catering business. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what an embarrassment. They just always go get some water <laughs> and parts. so dry. Hates the tamales. Hates them. Hates them. Hates them. He said it's embarrassing. Yeah, very dry. Are you? <laughs> She's like, also like, Yep. She's like, yeah, these are bad. Yeah, these are bad. Yeah, if I, if we ever actually ate these ourselves, we'd know that, but we don't, so... Mm. <laughs> Pearl, are you cooking the chimis? Uh-huh. I use the microwave for chimichangas for one minute before they fry. What? They taste really, really, okay. really good. She said they taste good. These are delicious. Okay. So knock them, knock well, them socks off. I'm not off. sure why she... Why does she microwave them before she fries them? Well, they're probably frozen, and if they just... Threw them in the oh. deep fryer, they'd probably explode. <laughs> and kill oh. everyone with like a grenade. It's dry. It's dry. It's shards of dry chicken. He's got to make sure it doesn't dehydrate on the spot, bro. Chimichanga. Chimichanga in the bin. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Carla? <laughs> he had to go get her. He's like, <laughs> she's going to that Carla. Why is she mad at Carla? She's just following the directions. It tastes before. It's really good. It's flavor. Not to him, apparently. I'm frustrated at my kitchen. It's a bit of a punch to the gut about my food. Well, I mean, come on. You guys are on the show. You already know your food. You got to know your food sucks. Yeah. If the food was good, people would yeah. be showing up to eat there. If your it's food just that sucks. lack of customers, you know? If we just had more customers, you know, the food would be better, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Steak burrito. A big old burrito. All right. All right. Jeez. That's the one I would order every single time I come to this place right there. That's what I'd get. That's the one? The biggest burrito they get got on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would tell them to deep fry that. Like, give me that in the chimney <laughs> form. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just went that with chimney. All right. Like, why their chimney came out with no sauce, no cheese, no nothing, bro? It was mm. like, here's your chimney. <laughs> is this food triggering you, Dane? It is really bad. <laughs> 
I know because I go to a, a Mexican place up the road named like John's or something. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. <laughs> I hate it, dude. There's no good Mexican spots around here. John's. <laughs> That's gross. That has to be the biggest ad for any diaper anywhere in California. <laughs> she, she already knows. She already knows. That's like eating wet cardboard. Have a taste of that, please. Ah, before COVID, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gordon trying to pull that right now. He'd be in jail. Like, whoop, whoop. Excuse me. Whoa there, dude. Moist and mushy. Oh, my God. That is disgusting. Let me taste the steak. He says the steak tastes like shit. <laughs> well, I mean, he didn't say that. All right, he didn't say that. Hold on there, you know. Did you grill him fresh steak for his burrito? Yeah. You didn't pull it from here, right? <laughs> what are they going to come in here and like throw up or something? Wow. What did you say? <laughs> didn't we taste it? Oh, good Lord. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That guy's trying to get fired. <laughs> yeah. We walk in the back room. <laughs> hey, that yeah, gorgeous fork was just that gross. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who knows? That's the he gave, he gave him the, the stomach bug. He's like, Here you go. <laughs> but anyway, I, I like what I was going to point out there is like you gave him a fresh one, right? You didn't give him the one we give all the other pets. I mean, the customers, right? You know, we gave him the exception. Right. Really salty. Nobody tasted before we did this. Oh man. <sighs> Ah, hi, hi, hi. Why are you liking customers? Because we need more customers. Another one whose water is wet. <laughs> How did he die? The manager. He stopped living, so he died. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is impressive they can make it so wet and so dry at the same time. For real. Uh, I mean, after watching like Case cooking and all these cooking shows, eh, and there being some of a of a cook myself, you know. Oh. Meat, meat's like it's naturally it's salty. Like right, it's already salty. But then people like add. You know, their freaking the rubs on it and their Dale's sauce and all that make it even saltier. Just 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 adding the seasoning that's like salt. Just more salt. I've never really liked yeah. more salt on any, like a steak or anything. Nah. Steaks are good without it. And there's yeah. so many other things you could do <laughs> besides just add more sodium to it. But anyway. That's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a comment, leave a like, do all that cool stuff. Tell me what you think about my hair because it's beautiful. I mean, you really don't have to tell me, but just go ahead and tell me anyway. Appreciate it. Thanks for that, brothers. This is my friends. Love you. See you next time. Bye bye. Raymundo?